breaking news, we've been following a story where a 16-year-old has been shot and has died near South Bronx High School. NYPD Commissioner Sewell is holding a briefing at the scene. Let's listen in. A young woman with a bright future and injured two other teenagers who were struck by bullets on the streets of the Bronx. At this point, early in our investigation, it appears that the brazen criminals opened fire during a dispute. What I can say with confidence is that NYPD detectives will work tirelessly to bring those responsible for this to justice. We are also asking anyone with information to please call 1-800-577-TIPS. For details, I'll turn it over to Chief McCormick. Thank you, Commissioner. What I can tell you is that approximately 1342 hours today, we received a 911 call for shots fired and people shot at the corner of 156 and St. Anne's Avenue. What I could say is that we have a suspect that is standing on the southeast corner of 156 and St. Anne's Avenue, gesturing to somebody on the southwest corner of 156 and St. Anne's Avenue. The gesturing went back and forth. The gentleman on the east side of the street pulls out a firearm and discharges his firearm in the westbound direction. With that, we have three individuals, two females age 16 and one male age 17, walking on the south side of 156th Street between St. Anne's and Cordwell. All three were struck by projectiles going down range. We have a female 16 that is shot in the chest and she's taken to the hospital and she's pronounced at Lincoln Hospital at about 14, 14 hours today. We have a female 16 that is shot in the shin and we have a male age 17 that is shot in the buttocks. At this time, we have no identity on the shooter. We're in the midst of identifying and notifying our victims and their families. Uh, I won't release their names at this time uh, because I want to have the opportunity to speak with them. Was any of this caught up in surveillance video? Yes, we do have video. That's how we're able to determine where the uh, perpetrator is standing. Do you know which direction they ran in, into a building, into a car? Was there a car involved? We're following the video. They are 16 and 17 year olds. We believe them believe that they are fr coming from school. They're heading home. All right, we got one more. Do you have any idea what type of weapon it is, caliber size, or anything like that? We're going to wait for the ballistics to be analyzed before we state that. All right, thank you, everybody. One more question. Can you just state, given everything that's happening right now, uh, New Yorkers obviously worried about their safety just walking down the street. What the department can do in the immediate term to, to, to assure them that they're going to be safe when they send their kids out. I think the commission has been very, very clear. She's, she's not going to tolerate the violence that's going on in the Bronx or anywhere in the city of New York. Our, our borough commanders in each borough are deploying their resources appropriately and will we'll defend the safety of all individuals in New York City. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you.